For years, nothing's been hotter than those cuddly little animals with cute little names. Almonds. I don't have almonds, right? But abruptly this week, the makers of Beanie Babies, Thai Incorporated, announced over the internet that it's over. So is it official? It's official. Shop owner Joe Diamond had to post the news. Beanie Babies are dead. It's over. December 31st. The millennium. No more Beanie Babies. No, no more Quackers the Duck or Pinky the Flamingo. The company says every last one will be retired. That's why I'm here now. Bye. <laughs> the news caused a frenzy in the Beanie world, especially among the adult collectors. Yes, I'm checking right now to see what uh, I'm missing in my collection. What happened was the chat room actually got flooded. Leonard Tannenbaum's Beanie Nation website was overwhelmed with mournful messages like, the end is coming. To them, this is really affecting their life more than most things that you guys have on the news. This, to them, is everything. They're the same avid collectors who have bid the price for Peanut the Elephant up to $5,000. But isn't, isn't that cute? Where would you rather have, a, car, a new car or Peanut the Elephant? <laughs> In truth, the fad was starting to fade. Store owners say Pokemon is the hot toy now. But it's not the same as Beanie Babies. No, Beanie Babies were unto themselves. So after one final frenzy of buying, collectors will have to go cold turkey. I will survive. <laughs> Without Beanie Babies? Well, it'll be difficult, but I will manage. And by the turn of the century, Beanie Babies will become has-beens. Anthony Mason, CBS News, New York.